everything about Remington Steel. Remington Steel started on October 1, 1982 on NBC Network. This action, adventure, and comedy series has five seasons or 94 episodes. Main cast was Stephanie Zimbalist Pierce Brosnan Doris Roberts In this TV series, Laura Holt, Stephanie Zimbalist, is a talented, private detective. The only trouble is, that potential clients, won't hire her, because she doesn't fit, the typical stereotype, and isn't a man. To overcome this problem, she decides to, invent, a male boss, for herself, named, Remington Steele. Basing the name on her, Remington typewriter, and the Pittsburgh Steelers, football team. Laura names her agency, after him, and business immediately picks up. Soon after, a thief, Pierce Brosnan, overhears, someone calling for, Remington Steele, and, in order to escape from some thugs, assumes the identity. He soon decides to, make the alias permanent, and Laura goes along with it, because she realizes the value, in having someone physically play her boss. Some interesting facts about Remington Steel. This MTM Enterprises show filming location was ABC Entertainment Center, Los Angeles. Century Towers, Los Angeles. Sun Valley, Los Angeles. And University of Southern California, Los Angeles. Santa Clarita, California. Anthony Andrews was the first choice to play Remington Steel but he turned it down. The series was cancelled, at the end of, season 4, on May 15, 1986, with a 60-day, option left on the show. That same day, Brosnan agreed to play, the role of James Bond, in multiple movies, for many millions of dollars. That generated so much publicity, that ratings for Steel Sword, during the summer months, and NBC decided to, bring the series back for an abbreviated fifth season, of three two-hour movies. With a seven-year contract, Brosnan was obligated to do it. NBC was willing to cooperate, with the Bond producers, to share Brosnan's time, but producer, Albert Broccoli, didn't feel audiences would pay money, at the theaters, to see essentially, the same character, they could see at home for free. The surprise renewal of the series, for 1986-87, also cost Stephanie Zimbalist, a role, as she was cast, as Officer Anne Lewis, in Robocop, 1987. That role went to Nancy Allen. Pierce Brosnan, and Stephanie Zimbalist, did not get along. According to Doris Roberts, in her 2005 interview, with the Archive of American Television, the two did not speak when not in character. In fact they didn't even say good morning, to one another on the set. Hope this information was useful. Thanks for watching. See you in another video.